Hey guys, today I am going to read you Alpha Investment comments off his own video. I know that they are probably not my biggest fans, but they're also not big fans of Rudy Chan as much anymore. So let's just read some comments. Santa Rudy's really pumping up those sugar plum fairy hopes and dreams for all the Timmies out there just by singles, guys. Wizards told us not to buy every product. Ravnica Remaster is already OP based on the value of the cards in the set. It's unsellable at its price point. The chase cards have already been drained of real value and using Dominaria Remastered as an example. Everything will tank at the end of it all. 2024 it is the year Wizard of the Coast will experience a decline in revenue compared to 2023 quarters because their business model of pumping a set every month or so and printing them to oblivion plus increasing prices on already very expensive items is not sustainable in a recession environment. So yeah, it's not. And people are really, really mad at Rudy. Who's going to buy this shit when they release a set every month? Price point too high, shit is getting mad old and people are sick of this shit. Wizard of the Coast uh, doesn't understand that they're capable of oversaturating their own market. They're doing what Capcom did to fighting games circa 2013. Unless you look at cards every single day, there's no way people that play on weekends can actually keep up. Hint, don't buy this crap, Timmy's. So there should be plenty of boxes in the landfill for Rudy's Patreons. <laughs> Rudy's Patreons, even Rudy's Patreons on Reddit, they're turning against him. They realize that his advice is, uh, you know, his advice is not good. He's been pumping all these sets to the moon, but um, none of them have given a good return. Most of them have not given a great return. Most maybe people finally start to understand that Wizard Coast charges them a premium for reprint sets that contain cards that have been reprinted in the past year and will be reprinted again in the next year so that they get not much value than a standard set on the long run, but they ask a premium upfront payment. I think that's actually kind of reasonable. Uh, they just reprint it. Um, they just reprint it until it's, it's not valuable. Like, I mean, a lot of this stuff should be really premium. It should be driving people to the stores. It should be doing all this stuff. I mean, the, the cards in a set are incredible. Um, if this was a set before COVID, you would think, you know, $400, $500 a box, easy, right? But the reprints on the reprints on the reprints, I mean, and then in the future reprint, there's, I don't think anyone has any doubt that they will reprint exactly these cards, right? Um, there's too many reprints in the set. This man is putting his faith in a company not printing product because they didn't get a lot of pre-orders. Ha ha ha. That's like saying the Federal Reserve doesn't want to print money. No way. Are you saying they, after they increase the price from 135, no one's pre-ordering the higher Timmy price? I can't believe it. Um... Laugh out loud, let it fail. You'd have to be an idiot after Dominera Remastered. It was going for 106 last week. I got rid of mine last year for 150 making $20 on two boxes. Made the right call. Okay. Wizards and Hasbro always doing the right thing. There's gonna dog, there's gotta be some new gimmick to move product, especially since they have collector boosters this time around. Hard to believe there's there'll be much excitement for return to return to return to Ravnica. Uh, heck, even the people they didn't screw over remember the Pinkertons. Good people don't want to support a company with their money if they use it. Okay, so that's a Pinkerton statement. Alpha case breaks prepping his Timmy's to go. Balls deep into Ravnica Remastered Collector's Edition. Rudy can't bring himself to say a majority of his patrons lost a ton of money in the last two years. No whiteboard video for current buy list for all the current collector's editions. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I mean, 
uh, when is the last time he's actually shown the price of his collector's editions? Um, I I really do think, yeah. Here, bought a Phyrexian Obliterate a few years ago for forty. Bought one last week for six dollars. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and people's the singles are dirt cheap. All magic is a dumpster fire. Even all the trash you've been pumping lately. Once the sad acts who's been buying stuff realize. The overprinted eats in every set, including the ones that haven't tanked, it's game over. There is a lot of negativity. Um, we are all broke as F, and Xmas is coming. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Xmas is coming, right? Um, I, I don't really know how Rudy can still promote this product. I don't know how Rudy can still support. Even MVP, and they sell a lot, guys. That ain't no small store we're talking about. That's a store that sells at distributor levels, right? And let's be quite honest here. Like, everything has gone to shit. You know, I, I don't know how else to put it. Everything has gone to shit. And it's because of alpha investments. You know, I love, you know, I love actually to have a discussion with him one-on-one -on -one why he's pumping this stuff. And the, the problem is very simple. Start VIP Masters. If you're going to allow them to pump this stuff and you're going to promote it and they know that whatever set they sell you, you're going to promote because you make a shit ton of money while your patrons lose their houses and their... You know, I've, I got an email. I don't know if it's true. I'll just throw it out there, man. This dude lost his house investing with Alpha Investments. People go, oh, it's not an investment. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's not what they told him. Uh, that's not what they said. And I might have him on live stream on my other channel. You know, I might get my other channel involved in this Rudy Chan shit because they love a good scam. They love to tear apart. And they're much more reasonable than the people on my current channel uh, who, like, can't understand, like, what's happening. The dude's been pumping everything to you as an investment. His name is Alpha Investment. The t-shirt he wears is called Alpha Investments. And yet, it's not an investment. The little logo on the little bottom of his video is called Alpha Investments. The channel is called Alpha Investments. Everything called he calls them Timmy's, right? Like, it funny, man, when you rip people off for seven hundred dollars a box on your mystery pop pack when people got money. But it ain't funny now because people don't got money. Revolution, Viva la Revolution. Um, because at the end of the day, I'm getting more and more angry messages about Rudy Chan. And, uh, and then, you know, there's a dude who lost his home. Again, I don't know how legit this is. And if I do get him on live stream, I won't be on this channel. I do mean Rudy supporters on this channel. Um, it'll be on my other channel and we'll rip Rudy on you. Because, uh, that channel is far more investigative and intelligent than I think. Um, you know, I do a live stream on this channel. Half the people don't understand what Ravnica Remastered is. Only Metazoo. I met the two to the moon.